Well, that's the only show I was fired from. <laughs> because I just really didn't fit into that. I didn't fit into that, uh, that, that Bill Cosby world. I couldn't really march to those marching orders and, and live my life that way. And, uh, and I didn't, I guess I didn't go along with the program enough. So I actually was not asked back. Did you speak up? Like, do you feel like that's, is that what you mean by you didn't go along with the program? I, I did speak up. I did speak up. And I did say, because I did feel that I was mistreated. I felt like I was kind of treated like a bimbo. And I felt that I was ignored. And, and I said something about it. And I did it in a very tactful way, but I, I don't think they really enjoyed hearing it. And, um, and then uh, when Carmen Finestra came, it was interesting because we were pitching, I think we were like in a bowling alley or something, I don't know why, but we were all somewhere and we were pitching and we were pitching um, about the slumber uh, party story. And, and I think I pitched that, uh, to get the kids all to behave, he tells them he'll give them all a dollar. And they said, no, no, that's, that's a terrible idea. So it goes on and on and on, and we're pitching and pitching. And then somebody else goes, what if he gives them all a dollar? And the guy goes, that's a great idea. <laughs> and so I go, wait a minute, I already pitched that. And they're like, no, 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 you didn't. And Carmen had a tape recorder. <laughs> because a lot of, uh, in those days, a lot of people taped stuff so that you could hear everything and go back and write. So he rewound it back, and it turned out that I had said something. And uh, that, it didn't really help me, I don't think, but <laughs> it gave me a little vindication.